the British Army as we know it today is about to look very, very different. The UK has developed groundbreaking AI robots that could change military combat forever. We're not talking about the future, it's happening right now. And the capabilities revealed to have other countries rethinking national defense. So how did we get here? Remember when AI in the military was just a concept? Well, it's no longer science fiction. The UK, alongside Australia and the US, has been testing AI robots in military scenarios through the AUKUS partnership. This collaboration, aimed at integrating advanced AI and autonomous systems into military operations, represents a significant leap from earlier robotic attempts. These aren't just drones or simple machines. We're talking about autonomous robots capable of performing complex tasks under extreme conditions. The AUKUS trial, officially called Trusted Operation of Robotic Vehicles in Contested Environments, or TORVIS, gives us a glimpse into their capabilities. Conducted in South Australia in late 2023, this trial combined the technological prowess of Australia, the UK, and the US to test advanced AI and uncrewed robotic vehicles. Picture this, a bunch of British and American robots cruising around the Australian outback, dodging electronic attacks like it's some sort of high-stakes game of laser tag. That's basically what went down during the Torvis trial. These robotic vehicles weren't just there to look cool, they were on a mission. They performed tasks like reconnaissance while being bombarded with simulated electronic warfare, electro-optical interference, and GPS disruptions. It's like throwing your robot into a sci-fi movie and seeing if it can survive the plot twists. Guy Powell from the UK Defense Science and Technology Laboratory put it best. Robotic and autonomous systems can transform the battlefield, offering a force multiplier while reducing risks to soldiers. Translation, these robots are here to make sure fewer humans have to dodge actual bullets. The Torvis trial is just the latest episode in the AUKUS saga. Back in April 2023, the first AI and autonomy trial took place in the UK setting the stage for more advanced tests like this one. It's all part of a grand plan to make sure the UK, Australia, and the US stay ahead in the game of modern warfare. By pooling their resources and expertise, these nations are creating a unified approach to AI and autonomous systems. Think of it as the Avengers, but with more robots and fewer capes. But what can the UK's AI robots do? We're talking about some serious tech here. These robots aren't just rolling around aimlessly. They have a suit of capabilities designed to handle the complex and chaotic nature of modern warfare. First up, these robots have the ability to carry out reconnaissance missions. Imagine a robotic scout, equipped with cameras and sensors, sneaking into enemy territory to gather crucial intel. These robots can navigate through difficult terrains, thanks to their advanced AI and autonomous navigation systems. They can identify and avoid obstacles, ensuring they get the job done without getting stuck or spotted. But it doesn't stop there. These robots can also perform long-range precision strikes, equipped with advanced targeting systems. They can accurately hit targets from a distance, reducing the risk to human soldiers. During the Torvis trial, the robots demonstrated their ability to conduct these missions even when faced with electronic warfare attacks. This means that if the enemy tries to jam their signals or disrupt their operations, these robots can still complete their missions. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the most insane feature in my opinion. These robots can operate in swarms. Imagine a group of robots working together, communicating in real time, and coordinating their actions to achieve a common goal. It's like a team of super soldiers, but made of metal and circuits. This swarming capability allows them to cover more ground, respond to threats more efficiently, and adapt to changing battlefield conditions. And let's not forget their adaptability. These robots can switch between different roles depending on the mission requirements. Need a logistics bot to carry supplies? Done. How about a robot that can deploy sensors and gather environmental data? Easy. Their modular design means they can be equipped with different payloads, making them incredibly versatile. The UK's AI robots are not just any robots. They are designed to operate in the most challenging environments. Equipped with advanced sensory systems, they have a 360-degree view, tracking multiple targets even in low visibility. Their mobility is top-notch, navigating rough terrains like hills, rivers, and dense forests with ease. These robots can go where traditional vehicles can't, maintaining balance and stability. Their sophisticated communication systems relay real-time information to command centers, providing valuable intelligence and mission updates. Imagine a scenario where a robot delivers medical aid in a conflict zone without risking human lives, or transports supplies across dangerous areas, ensuring troops have the resources they need. One of the most impressive capabilities is their autonomous decision-making. 
Using advanced AI algorithms, these robots analyze data, recognize patterns, and make decisions independently. They adapt to changing situations, avoid obstacles, and respond to threats, becoming smarter and more efficient with each mission. And hey, they never need a coffee break. The integration of AI robots into military operations is a game changer. They bring unmatched precision and efficiency, processing vast amounts of data in real time, making split-second decisions, and executing complex tasks without fatigue or fear. Logistics and supply chains also benefit. Autonomous vehicles transport supplies across difficult terrains, improving efficiency and freeing human resources for critical tasks. However, the introduction of AI raises ethical and strategic questions, like ensuring ethical decisions and addressing potential malfunctions or hacking. And now get this, the rest of the world isn't sitting still. The UK's advancements in military robotics through the AUKUS trial have global implications. Countries worldwide, like China and Russia, are closely watching these developments. China, known for its rapid military modernization, is investing heavily into AI and robotics, claiming to match or surpass AUKUS advancements. China's developments include sophisticated AI-powered drones and autonomous ground vehicles designed to challenge Western technologies. These advancements are part of China's broader strategy to dominate the AI landscape by 2030. Looks like they're gearing up for the ultimate robot dance-off. Russia, on the other hand, focuses on autonomous drones and robotic tanks, aiming to maintain its military edge. Russia has showcased its robotic combat units in various military exercises, emphasizing their potential in modern warfare. These units include the Uran-9, an unmanned combat ground vehicle that has already seen deployment in Syria. However, the effectiveness and reliability of these systems in real combat scenarios remains a topic of debate. It's like they've been binge-watching too much Star Trek and thought, we can do that. Smaller nations like Israel and South Korea are not lagging. Israel's defense industry has been a pioneer in developing AI-driven technologies, such as the Harup Loitering Munition, which can autonomously identify and engage targets. South Korea is developing AI-powered border security robots and autonomous surveillance systems, aiming to enhance its defensive capabilities. It's as if they're preparing for the world's most intense game of capture the flag. The global defense landscape is shifting, and those who can't keep up may find themselves at a significant disadvantage. The potential for AI robots to replace human soldiers raises ethical questions. For instance, ensuring these machines adhere to international humanitarian laws and determining accountability when mistakes occur is a complex challenge. Picture a robot in a courtroom trying to explain itself. I swear the GPS told me to go there. Public perception is another critical factor. Will people become comfortable with robots making life and death decisions, or will there be significant backlash? Ensuring AI systems are secure from hacking and cyber attacks is crucial to maintaining public trust. The fear of AI robots being hijacked by hostile forces to turn against their creators is a scenario straight out of a sci-fi nightmare, but it's a legitimate concern that military developers must address. Just imagine a robot uprising because someone forgot to update its antivirus software. What do you think about AI robots potentially making soldiers obsolete? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates on the future of AI and military operations.